Hey guys, it's me, Danielle, back with another YouTube video, and this time we're talking about my first and probably last time going to a lactation. So over this past Christmas break, I went to a lactation for the very first time. I went with my aunt who has lack extensions, and she's gone to this lady like a couple of times, so we decided to go together. And I was not a fan, if I be completely honest with you, I was not a fan. Um, my issue wasn't with her styling, even though I did have a few concerns there. That was not my main issue. My issue was with her customer service. So the lady we went to, her salon is located in Queens. Um, so we were on our way there. Um, our, we had the address in the GPS. And we ended up in Long Island. My aunt, who had been to this place before, was like, okay, yeah, this is not it. So called, called the lactician, and turns out she gave us the wrong address. Yeah. <laughs> so luckily, the shop was located in Queens, which is right there. So it was only like 20 minutes away. And we got there maybe less than, less, less than 30 minutes after our scheduled appointment so we didn't get there too late however her attitude was a little funny for me because when we called her to, to ask her like yo like where's the shop because we're here but we don't see it um she realized she gave us the wrong address but then she kind of had an attitude where it was like oh why would you go all the way out there why didn't you call me blah blah and we're just like well, this is us calling you because we thought you wouldn't know where your shop is and to not give us the wrong, the wrong address. And it kind of just kind of made me irritated that like, you, like you're the one who made the mistake. So why are you getting on us for not getting to the right place? Uh, that, that was kind of like strike, not even strike one, but strike half for me. Yeah, so we end up getting to the shop less than 30 minutes, so I'm thinking it's fine. Um, so it was like the typical uh, kind of salon set up in New York where like you would have your different sections. So you would have like a salon and like the person owns a salon and they would like rent space out to other people who did, do different types of hairs. So like the, in the front section it was the barbershop and in the back was where you like you did like the beauty salon type stuff with um, a section for like doing your nails, which was really nice. Um, but then we get there and the lady was not there and that was strike one for me so not even we got there late because we went to the wrong place so i'm thinking like why isn't she here so does that mean that if we had gotten there on time she also we would have we would have waited way longer and i don't think that's professional to me and also i feel like there was that lack of communication because apparently she works at another shop and I understand that because you know make your coins but I feel like if she had communicated to that so like once we told her we got the wrong address and she realized she was at that shop and she wouldn't be, fin be finishing anytime soon she could have just told us and you know we could have gotten something to eat instead of rushing to make it to the shop assuming she was there because when we were done we were hungry and the shops were closed so I was kind of just like <laughs> like, why aren't you there? Where's the professionalism? Strike one. So, lady finally gets there and immediately comments on my hair, kind of. She's commenting on, like, how small it is, how much it is, and she's like, yeah, I'm going to have to charge you extra for this, which I didn't mind because it still came up to, like, $20. I mean, still came up to 80 bucks, which I felt like was very reasonable. Um, but she, that did kind of leave me uncomfortable a little bit because the way she was saying it made it feel like, oh my gosh, like this is going to be such a chore. Like, ugh, why do you have so much locks? And I, I get that because I've done my hair myself. Like I retwisted my hair last night or the night before and it took me six hours. I understand it's a lot. But I was just like, this doesn't feel, make me feel comfortable to go in your hair. Like, I don't feel like you're going to look at my hair. Um whatever 
So go to sit down on the chair, wash my hair, and that was the highlight of my experience because I love getting my hair washed by a stylist because, you know, they really get in there. You know, they just give all the love and good vibes and good energy into your scalp. Woo! I would go to Lactation just for that. So she washed my hair and then she puts me under the dryer and then when I come out of the dryer, she retwists my hair dry. Um, yeah, so that was a little bit of an issue for me because as someone who's done my hair before or who, who has always done my hair, like I know how I want my hair done, I know how I want it to look and I didn't think that it should be retwisted on dry hair. Like, I don't know, let me know if you can reach such a hair. But for me, I wasn't totally comfortable. But I was like, hey, she's a professional. I'm going to let her do her thing. But that was kind of straight two to me. Because I was just like, I don't like this. Um, so yeah, and she used Let's Jam. Which I felt like gave me a really nice hold and shine. But I wouldn't recommend using it again or consistently for my hair at least. Because I feel like over time it could develop build up. Especially since mine are small. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. So, strike three for me had to be her complaining. So, like I said, I have a lot of hair. My locks are small. I have like 140 something locks. So, I know it's going to take some time. And... I'm even paying you extra because of it. And like it's it's a known fact, it's gonna take you some time, but I did not appreciate how she was making me feel in the chair with her complaining. Like she was complaining, like, oh my gosh, your locks are so small. Oh my gosh, why did you make them so small? And then she like asks, like, oh, who did your locks? Who said your locks for you? And I don't want to say myself because I wanted her to I wanted to get her honest opinion so i said my mom and she's like oh yeah she did them she did them wrong they're too long i mean they're too small and i was just like no they're not they're people with small locks all the time it's how you take care of your hair like like she was not making me feel comfortable in the chair she just made me feel like i made the wrong decision of making my locks so small and i was just like yo lady <laughs> like I came to you for a service because I heard you're good. You got recommended. And I came to get this service and you're making me feel crappy. Like, my hair isn't damaged. My locks are small, yes, but they're not thin or brittle or nothing like that. My hair is healthy. Like, I don't see where the issue is. Like, I understand you're tired. It's late. I get that. But, like, yo... I feel like there has to be some level of professionalism where you just keep those comments to yourself. Just saying. So after that, I was like, yeah, it's a wrap. Um, paid her the money, gave her the tip because she did my hair. She did it nice. She gave me a style. She put it in twists. I'm a bitch's hair. Um, yeah, paid her, tips her, and left. And I was like, yeah, that's the last of that. I will not be going to her again. I will not be recommending her again because she did not make me feel comfortable at all all and i feel like as a stylist period you need to make sure that your customer feels comfortable i feel like that's the like that's the bare basics of styling stylist salon services one-on-one -on -one. like make your customer feel comfortable and she failed so i will not be going to her again um to say that i won't be going to lactation ever that's a stretch but that, that really did not make me feel comfortable going to another one anytime soon. Um, my boyfriend, who I just started his locks for him like about a month ago, he just went to a loctician in Harlem. It was a very nice natural hair salon. He gave it a glowing recommendation. Um, I'll put their information in the description box and I guess I'll also put it here. Um, he gave him a glowing recommendation. So like, if I am ever to go to a loctician, I will probably try them out. But... For now, I'm going to just keep doing my hair myself because, I mean, I can do it fine. <laughs> so I do not need to dish out extra coins for someone else to do it right now. 
So thank you for watching this video. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, also comment below if you have your own like lock disaster stories or lactation stories. Also, if you are in the New York area, comment below if you have any good recommendations for, for people who do locks because your girl would like to know because in case I decide to go again, I need someone that I can trust, someone that can do my hair really nice, treat me well, so I can be loyal to them because I believe if I do find a lactician that can do my hair really good and I like it, like yo, that person will have me for life. Like as long as I'm in the area, I will keep going to that person, I will be committed, I would recommend them, I will tip them, I would be their best customer ever. I just need <laughs> to get that excellent service because I feel like that's so true as a customer. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.